Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my houseplant tour. Um, these are my roommates, my plants that are in my room. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, let's get started. So this is my philodendron esmeraldan. I'll put all the names of all the plants on the screen just in case I don't say it right or confuse them, mispronounce them. This leaf is huge and all its leaves are this huge. This is its newest leaf. Um, I'm excited for it to completely unfurl and get super long, hopefully like this one. Um, right in front of it, I have this Haworthia that I got. I got it at Trader Joe's. And I thought it was so cute. And I think it was like nine bucks with the skull pot. And I thought that was a good deal. I got, I also have this Philodendron. Uh, Longi, Longi something. I'll put the name on the screen just because I, I don't want to mispronounce all the names. And I really like this guy. He's a different style of philodendron that I'm used to. I don't... This is the first of its kind that I have. Like, I like it because it reminds me of, like, little bunny ears. Um, back here, I have this Anthurium clarinervium. And again, if I'm saying the names wrong, I'm sorry. Um, this is one of my favorite of Anthurium. It's not super needy or, like... It doesn't need the brightest light. All of my plants that are here are in front of a grow light. Sorry. Are in front of a grow light because this window that's up here is a north facing window and it's not enough light. And since I have a lot of plants, I need it to make this work. Um, if you see this stuff on the, on the soil, these are pebbles and then this whitish tan thing looks gross, but it's um it's from a diatomaceous earth that I started using to help out with the fungus gnat issue that I have cuz you know with plants come pests and I rather, you know, help get rid of them and I use that and I also use um, mosquito bits there's some in there too or you can see them back there um, back here this is my bro marks like this guy he's really cute he grows really fast he has a lot of growths coming in at the same time right now if you could see back there this guy is a philodendron. Um, is it focusing? It's a variegated uh, philodendron. is known as a magic mask. And this is its newest leaf. It's not as uh, light as this one. But I, I think this variegation is really pretty. I love like light leaves. Like, like color green. It's my favorite color. And these are the older leaves. And as you can see, some of the more like tense um, or like lighter sections tend to get brown easily. So I don't mind this variegation at all. Right here, front and center, this is my Monstera aria or like the green, uh, the yellowish variegation. This is its newest leaf and it's the only one that has fenestrations. And this one has this little brown spot on it too but this is a bigger leaf in comparison to this one it's very slow growing i still haven't seen another leaf um coming up since this one and it's been a while back here i have this guy this is a philodendron um pel peltatum or something like that i'll put the name on the screen this is currently like one of my favorites uh I love like the sheen of it. It has those silver marks. It's so pretty. 
And this is the newest leaf and it's been putting out like leaves left and right. This is the leaf that came out right before that one. It's really pretty. And you could definitely see the gray, the gray right there. So pretty. I hope that it'll get really big. Back here I have this philodendron is known as a hammerhead. It currently only has three leaves, um, but it has another one coming in right there. And then back here, I have my Marble Queen Pothos. All of these leaves are blocking. <laughs> um, this is my Marble Queen. She used to be fuller, but I overwatered her, which is, you know, the common mistake we make. So hopefully, I mean, she's making a comeback. She's putting out little leaves. This guy is a philodendron Gracie or Gracie Lee or something like that. Um, and it hasn't been doing well. It lost like a lot of its bottom leaves and then it has this guy unfurling, but it's taking forever. I don't know if it's gonna ever unfurl that little guy. This is my uh, Monstera constellation. This is the biggest leaf. And the, the most recent one, these are the older ones. This is the only one that has like a, a fenestration. And all these other ones are solid still. So it's a young plant. I really love the variegation in this, but it's been really slow to grow. So I'm still waiting for a new leaf. Right in front of me, in front of this black shelf, I have this pink princess. Um... This is only the only pink that I've had in this plant. And then the newest leaf has put out some pink. So I'm hoping that, you know, the leaves after this will be more pink. Then right here, right next to it, I have to back up. I have this guy. This is a Anthurium mor mormatum or something like that. And this is one of my favorite plants. But some leaves have like gotten a little bit damaged. But the texture is so pretty and soft. And then now to this side. This is a Monstera cutting that I won on Instagram from the House Plant Plant Club a, like a while back. And when I got it, it was just one leaf, this leaf. And now, I mean, it's grown all these roots. All of this is new growth. It's put out a new stem. And that stem is putting out its own little root. So I'm excited for this to become, you know, a bigger plant than it is right now. Right behind it is... Maybe I'm going to get next to it. This guy is a, I guess it's known as a satin pothos, but I think it's like a skindapsis, um, pictus, or skindapsis of, of some type, I think the small version, and it's really cute, it's been, it's one of my favorite plants, just because it's velvety, and it's putting out a lot of new growth, as you can see, then up here, right next to that, I have this guy. This is my Albo Vergata Syngonium. I really like him. I'm concerned though because when a lot of the leaves come out white like this, they brown really quickly and die. And then down here, I have a Repsalis Paradoxa. It's very small, but so cute and it's like trailing really long. Then right next to that, I have this philodendron, my, uh, mayoi. I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys. These are the leaves. They're so cute. Like, the leaf shape is so different. And then the newer leaf came out, like, completely different. <laughs> like, it looks like a little shield. And then these have, like, these style leaves. It's so weird. 
but I think it's so pretty. And I also won this on Instagram, you guys. I won this from, I'll, I'll add his name, but I was so excited. And right next to it is this guy. This guy is uh, the Melanocrysum X Varicosum hybrid that I unboxed from my last video. And right now it's sitting in water, rooting, and it's looking way better than it did when I first got it. I removed like the, the like one or two leaves that were already like dying. So I'm hoping that I'll put it in soil in the next couple weeks. So on the same glass, I have this guy rooting and this guy is from a previous order that I made a while back. You could see the tiny leaf in there. Is it focusing? Sorry you guys. This is a this stem, this brown one, is a verrucosum. You could see something else growing right there. And I'm so excited because when this guy arrived, it died back. I try to root it and I put it in water and you know it's starting to like do something so I'm happy I thought I wasn't gonna be able to save it. On the second shelf under the one that I was just talking about I have this propagation station that I got well propagation vessel that I got from Sharina and Lucas I love it at the plant swap and I have this cutting that I got from Jackie at Planty Jackie and it's a Hoya Fungi, 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 I don't know, the name is pretty funny. But it's really pretty, it has this nice uh, vein. And then I'm propagating this piece of a Hoya Linares. You guys, I'm going to put all the names on the screen because I think I'm butchering all the names. And then back here I just have more cuttings. And then this is my Stefania Erecta. And it's giving me new growth. I don't know if you could see it. It's so cute. No leaves yet, but you know, something's happening. So I'm like happy about it. These are cuttings, Gandapsis Trebu Dark Form that I've propagate that I'm trying to propagate. And some of them are getting roots and some are not yet. And I'm hoping that, you know, they start rooting. As you can see, there's another leaf growing right there. So maybe, you know, for the next plant swap, I could take that to share. And then right here, I have this um, variegated string of hearts. It's so cute and tiny. I love how it looks in this little round pot. And it's starting to trail. I like how it has like one strand that's full white. I think they're so cute. I mean, they're probably going to die, <laughs> but I, I really like how they look they're so cute so right next to my little potato i have this guy he's called the sephora postrata and he has the tiniest tiny leaves it's looking a little bit down right now he was doing fine i don't know hopefully he'll bounce right back in front of that guy i have this hoya bella i don't know if you could see but it's giving me tiny tiny little peduncles on each side it probably won't focus but I got this guy from a plant swap so thank you next to that I have this Hoya Linearis which is super long it's one of my favorite plants it grows pretty fast I really love the look of it and then back here I have this uh, variegated Hoya Carey Carry eye. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's so cute. I love like the variegated leaves. I recently got that also from a from a planty friend. So right here I have more propagations. This is the Ansoni eye. Um, I have a donkey tail and some string of hearts. And right here in the front I have. This Monstera Celtipicana that I also got at a plant swap. Cute and trailing, and I put it in this dollar pot from the 99. 
Back here I have a Hoya Carey, the non-variegated, just green. And it's giving me a tiny leaf. I don't know if you guys could see it. I don't know if it'll focus. Next to that, I have this philodendron um, ring of fire. And it was originally more variegated than it is now. I don't know if you could see the variegation on this leaf. It was more variegated, but you know, the light uh, tan variegation or off-white uh, gets really brown really fast but I, I still love it, it's really beautiful and then in front of that I have this Dyschidia I think it's like what's called the watermelon Dyschidia it's not really putting out that much new growth for me I don't think it's as happy as it could be and then I have this I think this is a Dyschidia too it has little trails I think this is what's called like a million hearts the shitty or something like that it's really cute it's barely trailing on this side this one's longer and then this guy is a peperomia I'll put it in because I always forget its name I just call it I think like it's known like as the elliptical peperomia or something like that I'll put in the name and then all the way in the bottom I have this Monstera Stanleyana. Uh, it's yellow variegation. It's really beautiful. I currently have it in sphagnum moss. This guy, oops, this guy got spider mites. So I removed the soil and I cleaned it. And for now, I have it in sphagnum moss, but I will probably switch it back to soil soon. I mean, it's not looking unhappy, but it's not growing, so we'll see. Uh, this guy is a Dracaena of some sort. I forgot what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it's very pretty. It has really nice speckling, but it's not... It hasn't been growing. I don't, I don't really know, I think, how to take care of this one. It was a little bit fuller, and it dropped some of its bottom leaves. Hopefully it'll bounce back soon. So back here I also have this Hoya pubicalyx and it's uh, the purple Hawaiian. So maybe one day I'll see, you know, the purple blooms because I think that's what it's referring to, right? Let me know if you guys know. I'm not sure. I, you know, I don't have any blooms yet. So let me go back up here. And up here I have this beautiful Hoya um, Crimson Princess and I love its variegation it's one of my favorites I'm, I'm really obsessed with Hoyas you guys um, I love their leaves I'm not obviously I haven't gotten a bloom yet so maybe when I get a bloom I'll be obsessed with the bloom Um, and then here I have this peperomia. It looks like the other guy, like the elliptical one, but it's called something else. And this guy has little, you know, these are the little rat tail blooms. Oops, that fell off. I guess that's an old one. But I really love this one too. It it trails really cute. I love it on this in this pot. And then right in front of that, I have this guy or her. I I don't know. Do you guys do that too? Call your plants like she or he? Because I do that. Anyways, this is my Hoya uh, fish tail Hoya, and it's one of my favorite Hoyas. This guy is really full. I it had more to it, but I, you know, divided it. It's so pretty. And then this specific one has like this variegated look to it. It's really interesting. I think I need to water this guy. And then right under that, I have my Hoya uh pubicalyx. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry guys. Um, and this guy has a lot of like splash 
I had taken this guy was fuller but I took I separated some of it to take to a plant swap so I could share it I, I think I I mean I still love the look of it it looks really full and I love this about it that like it puts out these like tendrils or whatever these are and they just like grab onto whatever they can and I think that's cool and then in front of that, or underneath those, all those plants that were hanging, I have this guy. This is my pink princess. She's a good size pink princess. And this is her newest leaf. It's so cute. And so bright pink. The previous, like, almost full pink one is this one. Or this is a half and half, but it's turning brown. I think, like, the, the pink side always gets lighter not as bright as when they come out as you can see the difference right there like this guy and then this one came out like super small in comparison I don't know but I still you know I still love her it's cute so yeah I have this guy that I'm gonna pot up hopefully maybe in my next video let me know if you guys want to see that I'm gonna pot this guy up um, I don't even know if I said its name this is a string of coins and then right next to that I have this guy this is a philodendron pasta zanum um, it's currently in the one leaf club when I received this guy it was three leaves and then one of the leaves was already like not attached to the plant anymore and it was like completely brown and had fallen off and then the two other leaves that were still like sort of okay were really yellow so it dropped those two leaves and then it recently put out this leaf and then it seems like it's giving me another one you guys so i'm so excited it's making a comeback so that's all of my plants here and then right under my grow light, I have this other little table right here, right next to my plants. And these are, my grow light is right up here. These are my plants from my list unboxing. And they're in water right now. So hopefully I'll be able to pot these guys up soon. And right here, right next to them, I have these cuttings. This one is... Um, a cutting that I'm gonna gift somebody and these are cuttings that I got at one of the plant swaps I got these from Sharina um, and they're doing really good and, and they've grown a lot of a lot of roots so hopefully I'll pot these up soon maybe when I pot up that guy I'll pot these guys up but yeah you guys those are most of my plants. I don't know if I explained about the black shelf, but I'm going to replace this shelf and hopefully have more space for all of the madness. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye!